if you don't want to be that photographer, then the Nightcore Cinewind might be just a product for you. All kidding aside, the photographer in this video is a good friend of ours and he uses a technique that we have used many times in the past. However, if you don't have an assistant and you actually want to concentrate on shooting, then getting a fan might actually be a good idea. Today we are taking a look at a new product by Nightcore, which has been developing an extensive line of photography accessories including several types of compact blowers that we have reviewed here in the past on Lensbit. The new Cinewind is the latest and by far the most capable blower and in practice it works as a very powerful yet very compact portable model hair fan. The Cinewind is surprisingly small for its astonishing airspeed of 46 km per hour and the amount of air it pushes. It measures only 19 by 10 by 12 cm and weighs in at 680 grams. It is surprisingly well built from a combination of ABS and aluminium with a nice cheese plate on the top part for connecting the unit itself or other accessories to the fan. It has a removable fan covers which can be detached for cleaning. On the front of the unit there are two power indicators and dual release buttons for the L batteries that the unit uses. Please note that the unit will not work with only a single battery. On the back there is a yellow knob with 10 steps for the fan speed. Fast click followed by a long click We'll turn the unit on at level 1 and you can turn the knob to increase the speed up to level 10 which is very loud and exceptionally powerful. To shut the unit down, fast click again and long click until the fan shuts down. We would actually prefer a normal on off switch in this case. We got the sitting wind a short time before it was officially announced and we decided to include it in a jewelry shoot that we recently produced. Initially, we used the tried and true form board method. Then we switched to the Cinewind and tried a few speeds to see what will work with our model and at what distance. For our setup and model, level 3 or so was as high as we could go without upsetting the model's eye too much from a distance of about half a meter away. You also need to remember that having lots of cool air blowing in your face for a long time could cause the skin to show goosebumps which is not something that you typically want. In our mind, all these issues could have been easily resolved if the Cinewind could produce a fast burst of air on command, preferably using a remote, instead of only constant breeze. We're not sure how feasible it is for the current model, but this is certainly something that we have suggested to Nightcore for a future model. Our shoot was done indoors in the studio, but in all honesty, ever since we got the unit a couple of weeks ago, we had no need to recharge the two L batteries that came with the unit, which is certainly a good sign for anybody who wishes to use this unit in a production outdoors. In any case, if you're shooting outdoors, just bring another set spare of L batteries and you can probably go all day. In conclusion, the City Wind is a well-made, compact and exceptionally strong portable fan. It does exactly what Nightcore promises that it will do and while you can certainly stick to using an inexpensive form board, especially if you have an assistant, having a fan allows you to work alone or have an assistant more focused on the accuracy rather than the output of the airstream. The CD Wind has some drawbacks of course like any other product. For one, the constant stream of air at high power will likely cause your model's eye to dry out and produce tears very quickly especially at high speeds. A burst mode and a remote would have been extremely useful in this case. As we have mentioned, we are not huge fans when it comes to the on-off switch method the Cinewind uses and it would be great if there was some simple accessory with a tilt function and a baby pin for mounting the unit on a light stand and adjusting the angle. Finally, there is a price, which is likely cheaper than most high-end fans but might still be more than what some photographers be willing to splurge on a fan. Talking about pricing, the Cinewind without any batteries currently sells for just under $130. So that was our look at the Cinewind from Nightcore. You can check out the full review on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more reviews just like this, as well as our new show, Lensvid Talk. See you next time.